Hey guys, it's Ningani, and I picked up the game Indie Dark Souls, I mean Dead Cells, for the Switch after hearing tons of great things about it. Also, you know... Yeah, the IGN stuff kind of brought a lot of attention towards it too. But man, let me tell you, I... I... I love this game. Now, I'm a pretty big indie fan. My Switch library is filled with small indie titles like Breath of the Wild, Fortnite, Xenoblade. Okay, honestly, I haven't really played any indie platformers in a while, so I decided to get the game, and I'm really glad I decided to get this because this game is amazing. This is Dead Cells. Alright, first things first, the story. There isn't one. Now, I'm joking. Dead Cells is a game where you aren't given a lot of information and you're usually left with a lot of questions like, why did I put myself through all this pain? But what you do know is that you are an immortal prisoner who has the goal to escape a constantly morphing prison filled with all types of monsters, weapons, and secrets. And when you do lose all your health, your head, I guess, I don't know what you call that, makes its way back to the beginning prison and there you are. Every time you lose your health, you start over. Which makes the gameplay quite interesting. Ah, the gameplay is brutal and unforgiving. Never think you're safe and do not get cocky because you will die. You really have to play the game to understand how smooth and fun it is. Dead Cells is a fast-paced, action-packed, and a game with tons of unique weapons that you can use for your own unique playstyle. There are dozens of different monsters you will come across, and many may be easy at first, but when you have tons of different types of monsters together, you're gonna die. And like I said, when you do die, or lose all your health or whatever, yeah, you're back at the beginning prison. Your weapons, gone. Your morale, gone. But your upgrades do stick with you. You can upgrade your stats through someone known as the Collector, who is surprised every time I make it back alive. Like, shut up, have some hope in me. Anyway, you give him cells from killing some bad boys, and the upgrades you get are more health potions, more money that you get back when you die, etc, etc. And like I said, the prison straight up goes Transformers on you every time you die, which keeps the gameplay interesting. So nice try memorizing the layout, because, uh, you'll get played pretty hard. Also, this game is like a perfect game to speedrun. I'm not like crazy about speedruns or anything, but it is pretty cool just to see how quickly people fly through these levels. The gameplay is absolutely the highlight of this game. It is fun and brutal. Ah, <sighs> now the review. If you got 25 bucks to spare and you're thinking of getting the game, just get it. It is so worth it. I'm sure I already told you enough about the gameplay, but there is so much I adore about the game. One of those things being the visuals, and oh my god, this game is beautiful. You can see the passion put behind this game. There's so many subtle, sub, subtle? I don't know how to say words. There's so many subtle details to keep you intrigued, and I love the style of everything. And man, the soundtrack for this game is amazing. Even after countless deaths, I'm still not tired of the Prisoner's Awakening theme. Here, take a listen. that guitar. Anyway, I still have a long way to go for this game, but I wanted to make a video on how good the game is because I, I talk about video games and it's uh, it's pretty good, man. Get it. Get the game! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video and thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. Honestly, it came out of nowhere and it really means a lot that you guys enjoy my content. School has actually started up for me again. I'm gonna do my best to upload consistently, but you know, you can't really count on that. You can turn on notifications when I do upload because, um, I don't know how often I can get these videos out. Anyway guys, I will see you in the next video.